Before the Airbus 330 or 350, one forgotten Airbus quietly revolutionised fuel efficiency by shifting weight on purpose mid-flight. This is how the A310 used a trim tank in its tail to cheat, drag and fly smarter. On most aircraft, fuel is stored in the wings and centre tanks. But once it's pumped in, it stays there until burned. That means the aircraft's centre of gravity remains forward, requiring constant elevator input to hold cruise pitch, which increases drag and burns more fuel over long distances. The Airbus A310 introduced something smarter, a rear trim tank built into the horizontal stabiliser. Once stable in cruise, fuel was transferred rearward, shifting the aircraft's centre of gravity aft. This reduced the need for elevator force and cut drag significantly. The aft centre of gravity meant the plane could fly more neutrally, like balancing on a seesaw instead of leaning forward. That aerodynamic balance cut cruise fuel burn by up to 1.5%, which adds up fast on long-haul flights. Later, aircraft like the A340 and A380 adopted similar logic. But it all started with the A310. This was more than a clever system. It was an early sign Airbus would prioritise aerodynamic efficiency in every design. The trim tank system became a quiet signature of Airbus long-haul strategy a relic from the 1980s, still teaching lessons today. Moving fuel just to shift the centre of gravity? Genius or over-engineering? It worked, but not every aircraft does it, so what's smarter? Fix the drag or move the mass?